Hello, my name is Kathy Williams from Brisbane, Australia and welcome to part 6 of Tone, Breathing, Legato and Making the Clarinet Sing. Um, now, I thought after five parts of theoretical thinking, I would finally put my money where my mouth is and get the clarinet out. So, first we want to get the breathing sorted. So, be perfectly relaxed. Don't go sucking the tummy in. Just uh, let's yourself breathe in and out. And make sure that you're feeling from the bottom of the lungs first. So, gets you a real good breath. So now, we start with long tones. I'll start on a G, the open G, because that's the easiest note to start on. And it's an easy note for you students to start on as well. So you take a deep breath. Notice there were little uh, fluctuations of sound. Well, I could hear them. I don't know whether they come over on the recording, but uh, that's the general idea. Just a long tone. Um, try many different notes, all the registers. So, on a C. tones most definitely because they're the ones that you most notice any fluctuations of sound but also um, on, a, on a C so two octaves above that C Um, different dynamics too, don't just go forte, you do have some that are really soft. So. Etc. Notice I'm using the covered fingering for the A, it makes a very nice, um, a very stable A. But also, um, when you are starting soft, see if you can get a really soft attack so that you even if you use actually a breath attack if you're in the altissimo, so um, especially in the altissimo you want a really uh, soft attack now one of the uh, main ways you can get this soft attack um, apart from starting with the breath is to actually have a really really relaxed jaw because if the jaw is really tight, then it is going to pop. So, so that wasn't such a good start. You, you, you heard that it was a little tight. It needs to be really... Uh, um, I found this out last year when I recorded the second movement of the Crucell F minor concerto. Because the second movement... otherwise those notes are going to pop and also um, at the start of the Weber concertino and also at the beginning of the 
Weber First Concerto. So again, it has a really, really relaxed jaw. I mean, not so relaxed a jaw that the note comes out really, really flat. But uh, that is uh, that is a good start. So once you've gotten sick of the long tones, we then move on to the crescendo, decrescendo, which you'll probably find you need in your clarinet exams anyway. Um, I don't know if you have clarinet exams in the States, but Australian and uh, British clarinetists will know what I'm talking about, the ABRSM or AMEB or Trinity College, uh, which I'm a big fan of Trinity College. I've taken both my associate and licentiate diplomas uh, with Trinity College. Um, and I find them uh, very good. So now, um, with the crescendo decrescendo, count them out. I recommend eight beats uh, to the crescendo, eight beats to the decrescendo, and that's a really good idea of how to control your sound. So let's start on the G again. So really soft attack, soft as you can. a little bit of wavering in the sound there so perhaps I should be practicing that as well I haven't practiced it for a while but uh, try that on all notes especially the uh, altissimo register um, and the upper register so the sound gets bigger try and really concentrate the sound don't let it disperse you don't, you don't want that okay um so we've got those out of the road um now what i recommend you do when you first start trying to get a good sound is actually to go to um close a's clarinet school my particular edition is edited by boozy and hawks and I would turn to, well, my edition's page 13, the first sounds. Now, what I recommend is that you play these exercises just straight. Don't take any breaks. Because they start on different notes and um, it, each note is for a count of nine. Um, now, I recommend this for endurance because if you can play these exercises through, um, then you're going to have a pretty good endurance, which will be good if you've got a you know, three quarter of an hour recital to do. So, you just start with um, number one. Um, make it a, you know, nice and slow tempo. Um, and uh, count four, so. Mm. 